funny looking back. Let me know what you guys think. Is this, and I scrubbed a lot, quality of the phone. This was listed as, and maximum capacity is at 81%. Hello YouTube. What I have here is an iPhone, Amazon renewed, iPhone XR, 64 gigabytes. Unfortunately, my son opened the box while I was working. So I can only show already outside of the box. It did came with a cable and a charging brick that I'm gonna show you in a minute. But let's take a look at the quality of the phone. This was listed as uh, acceptable. So I was expecting you know, small scratches and some cosmetic issues within the body. You can read the description of this video and you'll learn more about how Amazon uh, rated their phones, their renewed phones. And what I noticed right away, and I did try to clean this and I'm doing it right now, but the back of this phone is funny looking. A, I'll try to bring it very close here, but it has this weird aspects. It's a lot easier to see in person, but well, I guess within the light lights shining, you can see everywhere. I don't know if this is driven by the case that this phone was uh, placed on before, but as you can see, it's all everywhere the entire back and i scrubbed a lot with you know my hands and water and there is no way to get this uh, thing out of the screen or out of the the back glass of the phone so it has this really weird looking well I guess if you're gonna be using this in a case, you will not be able to see, but terrible looking. The back of this phone is terrible. It, I already got phones that looked like this before. So this is not the first time, but this is the worst case ever. As you can see, it's, it's everywhere. kind of micro scratches, really, really bad. I don't know, I guess this qualifies as acceptable, but still not a good looking phone. So let me clean the screen here. The front screen has a screen protector on that has a small crack on it but I believe this is only the, the screen protector that has the crack. The screen itself looks good. And let's look at all the corners now. Let's try to do a three X here and see if we can zoom in all the sides of the phone, the bottom. Looks like it did focus here. So it has all of these micro scratches as well in the side, but not no major bends. So it doesn't look like this phone was dropped, which is good, but the back looks very weird. So I'll turn this on and then let's check the battery health. See if the battery is good or bad. I'm trying to focus here in the port as you can see it's really dirt it's dirty but acceptable acceptable condition that's that's what uh, i'm getting this time with acceptable condition this is uh, one of the first times that a phone comes while it's 
completely dead. It's immediately asking to connect to a power source. Never got any renewed iPhone that had this happen to me before, but I'll charge this up and once it does charges, uh, we'll look into the capacity of the battery. Okay, so the phone is now charging. As you can see, 3% only. And maximum capacity is at 81%. Within the Amazon Renew uh, program, the phones must be at least 80%. So this is right there at the threshold. And well, an acceptable phone. Funny looking back. Let me know what you guys think. Is this considered acceptable or is it something that doesn't fit the acceptable condition? I think I can see this from over 12 inches. If it, you can see from kind of everywhere. So again, thank you for watching. I hope that you guys liked this video. Hope that this helped you learn a little bit more about what you get when you're purchasing a Amazon renewed iPhone. I've been purchasing Amazon renewed iPhones for a couple of years now. Uh, seems that every time I travel, I'm taking phones to friends and family members and I tried this iPhone renews, this I uh, renewed iPhones from Amazon. And most of the time, with very few exceptions, I got good deals. Sometimes phones comes with uh, major issues and I have to return, but I only do so if the phones are not within the Amazon parameters uh, and what you know you should expect on a renewed phone. For example, if the battery comes to be below 80%, you could actually return the phone because it says it gotta be at least 80, right? If it comes with scratches within the screen, you probably have to return the phone because it depends on the condition you purchase, it should not have any scratches on the screen. So anyway, hope that this uh, helped you make an informative decision about uh, what phone you wanna get. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye.